YouTubians and fellow hobbyists, well, welcome back in the garage. Since we had a smart idea with the screen in the trunk, of course, we had to cut out the trunk and make it movable lid. Took a piece of wire and made the hinges for the trunk lid. If you are interested in more information about how to make hinges and other things, feel free to go on my playlist Tips and Tricks. Since the kit actually didn't have an open trunk, I had to build of course also the inside of the trunk. Next thing that I wanted to have is some stylish side pipes for the exhaust, which I wanted to build in in the body. I found in my part box this resin copy of a skull and I thought that is actually just the right size for a side mirror. But of course I had to do a little bit of cheeseism, that means I give him a mohawk. A really important step with those kits is always figure where the mold lines are going and sand them down because you're gonna see them after painting. You wanna sand them down, I'll sand them down first with 400 grit and then go up to 1200 grit so you really can't see nothing anymore. I was not really happy with the front bumper in the kit, I wanted to have like one of those super heavy big ones from the 50s. So, as you know me, I had to do a lot of scratch building to make it right. But that's all for now. See you next time. Keep on building. 
拜拜。